Welcome back to the workshop. My name's Sean Evely, and in today's video, we're going to be building the ultimate sandpaper dispenser or rack or holder, whatever you want to call it. But before we get into that, I just want to thank today's sponsor, which is Premium Tool Giveaways. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, make sure you do that. You would have saw that I collaborated with them to celebrate them hitting 1,000 followers, and we decided to give away a bunch of hand tools to one lucky winner. Well, they've just launched their new website where they're doing monthly giveaways and they're only giving away the top brands like Festool, Maffel, Lamello, DeWalt and much more. In fact, they've got three competitions running currently, which is a £500 Axminster or Screwfix voucher, a combi drill and an impact driver set from a brand of your choice and my favourite, the Festool Domino. And if you want to enter, they've given you guys a 10% discount code if you go to checkout and you type in Sean 10, you'll get 10% off your entries. All the winners are completely chosen at random. They're actually drawn live on Instagram and Facebook. So if you want to upgrade your tools or just get in with a chance of winning some great prizes, then click the link in the description down below and give it a go. So thank you Premium Tool Giveaways for sponsoring this video. So I've been meaning to make a sandpaper holder for a very long time because until now, I've been storing all my sandpaper on that table there. It's taken up a lot of table space. It gets very messy um, and it doesn't look that nice. So I'm looking forward to putting this together. It's a really easy, fun project and very functional. So definitely try it out for yourself if you've got these sandpaper rolls. So here's my old bouncer blade and I just broke it uh, to the right length. Now obviously you want the sandpaper to go underneath the bouncer blade so then you can rip the pieces off. So you've got to raise the bouncer blade up so all you need is you need some washers and I'm going to drill a hole through the bouncer blade and then secure it in place with a screw and I'll screw right into the plywood. <laughs> So the holder is coming along nicely. Now as you can see, the sandpaper rolls will go onto this tube and slot in that slot. And the sandpaper will go under the blade like that. And once you've ripped off a piece, the sandpaper will then be flush with the blade. And to pull the next sheet out, you can reach behind and feed it through. But that might be a bit difficult if there's another roll right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this blade off again cut a notch out behind the blade and then you'll be able to reach your finger in behind and then pull the next piece out. I think it's just going to make it a bit easier to use. Thank you. 
happy with that sandpaper dispenser. I think it looks great, it's made that area look a lot better, and of course it's functional. I highly recommend you guys to make one for yourself. And if you want to know what sandpaper I'm using, I'm using Merca sandpaper rolls. You can get them in 5 meters for £5, which I think is a really good deal, and you can get them from Axminster. Before you go, I just want to thank Tim and James Leach for becoming a new patron. I've already made your name plaques and put them on the beam. I really appreciate your guys' support. I just uploaded a patron-only video, which was how to accurately cut off a lid from a box and perfectly install box hinges. I'm uploading Patreon only videos all the time and if you're interested in checking out all the exclusive content, getting your name in the workshop, getting early releases on the main channel videos and discounts on my store, then feel free to become a Patreon. It really helps out the channel. All the information is down below if you're interested. So that's pretty much it. Don't forget to check out Premium Tool Giveaway's website. A link to that will be in the description down below. If you enjoy this build, make sure you give it a like. I'd love to hear what you think about it in the comments down below. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. So thank you for sticking to the end of the video, and I'll see you very soon for the next one. Bye.